Hi, welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle Enterprise Planning Cloud. Today's Play It Forward video is about what is Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service, or PBCS. Oracle's leading EPM cloud service is the Planning, Budgeting, and Cloud Service, or PBCS. This is a solution in the cloud that provides an enabling technology for centralized planning, budgeting, and forecasting. PBCS can shorten your planning cycles. It can improve your plan and forecast accuracy. Users can input in plans and review plans over the web and in Excel as well. PBCS supports approvals and process management. PBCS allows for flexible modeling and what-if analysis. Because PBCS is built on top of SBase, you have very powerful reporting and analysis capabilities. You can slice and dice on any of your dimensions and drill into issues and variances very quickly. PBCS also supports powerful business rules, so almost any calculation requirement can be met within PBCS. It's fast and easy to deploy, and it's highly scalable. With the Oracle Enterprise Planning Cloud, originally the first solution was introduced as Planning and Budgeting Cloud Services, or PBCS. We now have two different options within Oracle Enterprise Planning Cloud. We have the original planning and budgeting solution, but we also have an enterprise planning option which contains out-of-the-box frameworks to meet requirements for financials planning, workforce planning, capex planning, and projects planning. The pre-release term was EBPCS, so that enterprise option which contains those pre-built frameworks. PPCS delivers a simplified user interface for users. Users can view dashboards, which provide visual presentations of actuals and forecast data. If they've been provisioned, they can also create new dashboards as well. Users can access tasks. Task lists are created by interactive users or administrators to guide users through a process and it can include a number of different steps, including accessing dashboards, accessing data forms, running business rules, and more. Plans is another way for users to access simple forms or composite forms or ad hoc grids, user interfaces for users to be able to input data or review data that's in their PBCS application. Users can run business rules to calculate data, they can access approvals where they can review and approve plans. And finally, they can run reports either in an HTML or PDF format. Through the simplified UI, if you're an administrator, you can access the console, which is the central hub of creating and managing your PBCS application. All users can see the settings, which is where they define their preferences. And this is where administrators can also define application defaults. You can access the Academy, which has great tools and tutorials on how you can learn PBCS. Navigator is the final link for administrators and users to be able to jump to different types of administrative tasks. So if we jump into what the dashboards may look like, this is where power users and administrators can create visualizations of the data. So not only can they see numerical grids of information, you can create different types of charts, you can include URLs and commentary text, all within a dashboard framework. Users can follow tasks, which are essentially their personal tour guide through a particular PBCS process. Again, interactive users or power users and administrators can create these task lists and assign due dates, and then users can track what tasks they have assigned to them, what's complete, what's outstanding, and then you can even include instructions on each particular task. End users can enter plans, and this is essentially where they're accessing data forms. And there are different types of data forms for users, but this is where they can enter in their, their plan or their forecast data, and then run calculations and review the resulting calculation. New features include autosave. So as the user enters in and tabs over to the next cell, the data immediately calculates and responds. PBCS has some coloring options to help us understand what's going on. So if a data value has changed in a data form, it will be highlighted yellow or green, depending on the settings that the administrator has defined. But you can very easily see what data has changed and then actually save and commit that back to PBCS. They can change their page dimensions, so be very dynamic in the, the plans that they're entering data for. Users also have the ability to enter plan data in Excel. Using the Smart View add-in, users can open up task lists and they can open up plans, enter in their numbers, submit the data, run calculations, 
Most of the end user features that are available over the web are available in Excel as well. As I mentioned, the enterprise planning option for the cloud includes pre-built frameworks for planning processes. There's a financials framework, which includes income statement planning, balance sheet planning, and cash flow planning. There's a workforce framework, capital framework, and projects framework. The idea is that Oracle is going to continue to expand different business processes that are needed by customers in the future. These frameworks are incremental. You get to pick and choose the modules that you want to implement now and then add other modules or frameworks on later. These frameworks are configurable, so you go in and configure the modules to meet your requirements. You can then enrich the frameworks, adding in your own accounts or your members and your specific dimensions, so you're enriching the framework, but all the while, Oracle's developed a solution and a framework to still make sure that the solution is upgradable. So the customer will always be able to upgrade the application to take advantage of new features. The pre-built content that comes with the enterprise planning frameworks includes out-of-the-box content for drivers, KPIs, calcs, forms, reports, and dashboards. They're built on top of best practices, but they're still configurable for you. And again, these pre-built frameworks are gonna be automatically upgraded by Oracle. Again, you can enrich these objects that stay within the framework so that it can be upgraded. Data management is the solution that you will use in PBCS to load data. It is a data integration tool that provides a process from start to finish to identify a source and a target, map data if you have those requirements, and then actually load the data into the target system. Data management really underneath the covers is Financial Data Quality Management Enterprise Edition, which is an on-premise EPM solution for integrating data with your ERPs and your EPM application. So data management is really an FDMEE light. It doesn't quite contain all of the full functionality that's available on-premise today. Now that will change and a lot of those features are going to be available in future releases of data management. This is really an ETL tool for the business user. So you don't have to have an IT background and you don't have to really understand complicated ETL processes to use this data management tool. Again, there are mapping capabilities. So if you need to map data from your sources into your PBCS application, data management will support that. Right now, data management is file-based, but again, they're going to continue to add in additional sources, and I'll also be able to add in the ability to build dimensions into your EPM or your PBS application. Data management does support drill through to sources, and everything can be fully automated with EPM Automate, a utility that comes with PBCS. SmartView is another supporting tool for PBCS. This is the common Microsoft add-in for all of the Oracle EPM solutions, both on-premise and cloud. You can perform analysis within the SmartView add-in against your PBCS application. You can create highly formatted reports. You can enter in your plan data. You can maintain dimensions if you're an administrator. And again, this tool is often used by power users who like to just get into the application and not have a lot of framework and constraints. They can really go in and navigate and pull the data that they need to do their analysis. SmartView is not only supported just in Excel, but it is also available for PowerPoint and Word. Financial reporting is the solution that you'll use to create highly formatted reports against your PBCS solution. Now this financial reporting tool is also available for all of the on-premise EPM solutions. So you can create your nicely formatted with your bolded headers and your underlines and the formatting that you need to apply to your numerical data. You can also do some traffic lighting within this financial reporting tool. It's a very powerful solution to create your report packages. You have the ability to create books and batches. So if you need to group multiple reports together and then run them on a periodic basis, Financial reporting supports those processes. You can also schedule them as well. Financial reporting can integrate into Excel using the SmartView add-in. So if you want to pull in a financial report into Excel, you can do that using SmartView. And it is a strategic direction forward. There's also a new web designer and charting engine that is available for financial reporting, only available for PBCS. And this concludes our Play It Forward video, What is Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service? I encourage you to look at our additional Play It Forward videos into the details of PBCS, where we will jump into much more detail and demonstration on how this amazing cloud solution works. Thank you.